The Sunday School lesson for December the 10th, 2023 is The Faith of David. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 31 through 37, verse 45, and verses 48 through 50. Welcome viewers and welcome back subscribers. If you are new here, I am Audrey and this is my channel, The Backstory and More. Notice the standardized agenda. I'll share the backstory, read the lesson text, and offer a brief lesson summary. Please know also that each Sunday, I will push out a video for the upcoming Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. The Backstory, let's begin. The Backstory takes us to 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 22 through 30. David left his things with the keeper of supplies, ran to the battle lines, and asked his brothers how they were. As he was talking with them, Goliath, the Philistine champion from Gath, stepped out from his lines and shouted his usual defiance, and David heard it. Whenever the Israelites saw the man, they all fled from him in great fear. Israel was terrified because a champion named Goliath, who was from Gath, came out of the Philistine camp. His height was six cubits and a span. He had a bronze helmet on his head and wore a coat of scale armor of bronze weighing 5,000 shekels. On his legs, he wore bronze greaves and a bronze javelin was slung on his back. His spear shaft was like a weaver's rod and its iron point weighed 600 shekels. His shield barrier went ahead of him. The king's offer. Now the Israelites had been saying, do you see how this man keeps coming out? He comes out to defy Israel. The king will give great wealth to the man who kills him. He will also give him his daughter in marriage and will exempt his family from taxes in Israel. David has questions. David asked the men standing near him, what will be done for the man who kills this Philistine and removes this disgrace from Israel? Who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? They repeated to him what they had been saying and told him, this is what will be done for the man who kills him. Challenge from Eliab. When Eliab, David's oldest brother, heard him speaking with the men, he burned with anger at him and ask, why have you come down here? And with whom did you leave those few sheep in the wilderness? I know how conceited you are and how wicked your heart is. You came down only to watch the battle. Now, what have I done? Said David. Can't I even speak? He then turned away to someone else and brought up the same matter. And the men answered him as before. The backstory ends here, and the Sunday school lesson begins with verse 31. The story continues, verses 31 through 32. What David said was overheard and reported to Saul, and Saul sent for him. David said to Saul, Let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. Verse 33, Saul replied, You are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man, and he has been a warrior from his youth. Verses 34 through 35, But David said to Saul, Your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock, 
I went after it, struck it, and rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by its hair, struck it, and killed it. Verses 36 through 37. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. This uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them because he has defied the armies of the living God. The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. Verse 45. David said to the Philistine, You come against me with a sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Verses 48 through 50. As the Philistine moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him. Reaching into his bag and taking out a stone, he slung it and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell face down on the ground. So David triumphed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. Without a sword in his hand, he struck down the Philistine and killed him. A brief summary. When Saul was publicly challenged by the Philistines' champion, Goliath, he shrank back in fear. David, on the other hand, was young and outwardly unimpressive. He looked more like the shepherd he was than like a mighty king. But God, who looks at the heart, chapter 16, verse 7, chose this new leader because of his faith and inner character. David was a man after God's own heart, chapter 13, verse 14. Unlike Saul's cowardice, David, who was still just a young man, was willing to confront Goliath with tremendous courage built on his trust in the Lord. Rather than rely on human means of protection, like an armor, a sword, and so on, David was equipped only with his shepherd's gear, a staff, stones, and his sling. Most importantly, David put his trust in the Lord Almighty of the armies of Israel. Verse 45. While Saul cowered, David took a stand of faith in God's name, declaring that there is a God in Israel and that through his defeat of Goliath, all those assembled would know that the battle is the Lord's. What the great army of Israel would not attempt to do, this young shepherd did. He defeated Goliath and the Philistines were defeated. Rather than a personal victory to gain his own prestige, David saw his defeat of Goliath as an act of faith, motiva motivated by his zealous love for God. Thank you so much for watching and join me soon for the next backstory and more. Stay safe and may God bless. And remember that each Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, I upload a video for the upcoming week. Thank you so much in advance for sharing my video, subscribing, and viewing.